Hi everybody, this is uh, version two of our Helpful Hints in the Kitchen. I am at Bonnie and Jackie's in Glen Ellen, near Chicago, Illinois, and we're going to talk about how to choose a good melon. Well, this is first. You want them evenly, <laughs> you want them even size is nice, and you know, a good, a good amount of weight. You put them down here, and you take a look at them, and they should have a nice web over them, but what I like is the yellow. The yellow on that, because yellow always indicates sugar, so that means it's going to be nice and sweet. You press here in this area right here, and it should be a little soft. And I like Jackie's um, way of doing this, where she like knocks on her head like that, and it should be similar. So obviously this has as many brains as I do. <laughs> so then what you want to do is you want to cut off the ends like this and then you'll cut it in half. And I'm making melon prosciutto because they're having this lovely brunch here and they are, we're wrapping it in prosciutto, cutting it into chunks, and it's gonna take way too long for me, but you basically cut off the ends, expose this beautiful fruit, you just like spoon it out, cut it up into one inch little slices, cut them into, and then I think we're doing the slices, right? So, so Bonnie and Jackie, would you guys come over behind me so that they can all see you? So they're doing this lovely brunch today, and we're having a great time, and um, that is your lesson on how to pick a good melon. And I think that they need one for each. Nice. Thanks for joining us today on our second edition of our cooking tips.